now. Good morning. Uh, my name is Melissa, and I am starting my Instagram live feed. Um, doesn't look like anybody's in here just yet. But for those of you joining on YouTube and watching, I am in Romantic Country, The Second Tale. Um, and I am coloring this double page spread here. That's simply titled Christmas. And I am using my Faber-Castell Polychromos. So I started on this last night and I picked it. There were a couple different pictures I was looking at. I was looking at the the Christmas book that I got from Jen Katz. Um, I was looking at a couple of the other romantic countries. I don't really have Christmas books. Um, to be honest, I, I get a bit humbug about Christmas stuff that lasts a long time because Christmas doesn't last a long time. It just, it doesn't. Um, I don't start pulling out my Christmas stuff until after Thanksgiving or at least Thanksgiving days. That's when I can start listening to my Christmas music. And then on New Year's, it all goes away. So it seems like a very short time frame to do Christmassy stuff and to buy Christmas books. And then I feel like I can only color them between Thanksgiving and New Year because of my own. <laughs> because I have put those restrictions on myself. Um, and I know I've done that. But that's just how I've always done it. Good morning, Kimmy. Welcome to the live stream. I'm coloring in uh, Romantic Country, the second tale, the Christmas page with my polychromos. If you have any questions, just pop them in chat. Be more than happy to answer. Good mornings, SM Flor Flores. I'm sorry, I'm not saying that properly, I know. Welcome to the live stream. I'm in, uh, as you can tell, if you have these books, I'm in one of the romantic countries, the second tale on the Christmas page because it's tis the season. I've even got my nice little Christmas sweater on. <laughs> I I have not colored in these books. I've done one, one page. It was because of the paper, really. The paper is just so odd. It's such an odd paper. So that was dark red. Taking my permanent carmine now. The The paper's really, really weird to work with. Uh, it's got very little tooth. It's extremely smooth. And so it feels like stuff builds up pretty quick. And for me, who likes to layer a lot, uh, quick build up is not something I am... I want so it's just a very odd paper I tested Prismacolor on the last one and it worked you know it's Prismacolor it works on just about anything um, and the polychromos seem to be doing pretty good and it's just getting some saturation is just a little more difficult than I I like as you can tell I'm doing my left-sided shadows except for against the body there more than welcome to color along don't have to mostly i i like watching videos and coloring my own stuff while watching those videos not necessarily coloring the same page. So I can't be the only one, right? Right? I could be, I suppose. That'd be so sad. 
but I chose this page because it reminds me of my mom. And we had one of those nice 1980s, or gosh, it had to be even before that. They probably got it in the 70s. A curio cabinet. And I remember it being just massive when I was little. Uh, saw it at my dad's house recently. <laughs> it's not quite that big. Um, but, you know, kid perspective and all that. But inside this curio cabinet, um, beyond, you know, trophies, us kids won, and some china from my mom's side of the family, and other, other curios you just put in, right? My mom had a collection of nutcrackers, and she would get one every year for Christmas, every year. Should get a new nutcracker, so <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still I am still fighting that cold from over Thanksgiving. It's just lingering and bugging me. But not like bad enough that I feel like I need medicine for it. It's very weird. But anyway, so my mom had all these nutcrackers. There were just so many. And they were all different colors, but mainly they were um Green, red, and blue were the main colors on most of the Nutcrackers. And then a couple years ago, this is, um, Floris, this is The Romantic Country, The Second Tale. And this page, if you look in the back of the book, it, it lists um, what each page is. And this one is just simply titled Christmas. And I'm just, no real plan other than I want to mimic those nutcrackers my mom used to have in the curio cabinet. You're welcome. Welcome, Mal Malafeki? Malfiki? Welcome to the live stream. I'm in Romantic Country, the second tale on the Christmas page. Using polychromos. I'm gonna take my white now and try to preserve a little bit of that highlight. I want it dark against the body. Thank you very much. I hope it will turn out nice. I have high hopes. I always have high hopes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so a couple years ago, my mom, who for as long as I can remember, had collected nutcrackers told everybody to please stop buying them for her because she actually doesn't like them. <laughs> she just got it one year, I think, from her grandmother. You know, she couldn't tell her grandma or whatever that she didn't like the present. And so it just kind of continued and snowballed for years. And this year I'm thinking about getting her a nutcracker just because I think it would be funny. She'd get a kick out of it. She's got that type of sense of humor that uh, she'd get a kick out of it, too. So, I may get her a nutcracker this year. <laughs> uh, just thinking about it gives me the giggles. Oh, you know what, Malfiki? I, I get that, being afraid to, to mess up a, a beautiful picture. I really get that. Like, I struggle with that, too. Um, but sometimes you just got to go for it, you know? What's the worst that can happen? You do mess it up, and then what? You just go get another book. It's not like they're not making them anymore, right? 
And that's, I have multiple books for a reason. Because I will mess it up. Like, I will. I I know I will. But that's okay. Because sometimes you can fix it. And when you can't, lesson learned, maybe. There, there are some pages, some books that I have just, I have, I'm using black, by the way. Um, I know you shouldn't use black to shade, but this is a, with the way this is, is done with the very thick lines, I just don't feel the need to keep it quite as realistic as I normally would. You should try it. You should. I encourage everybody to just try. And and there's a couple, like there's another page. I don't think it's in this one. It might be in, it might be in Romantic Country 1. Um, where it's just a tree and a girl with some presents. And it just says Merry Christmas. Kind of like the Halloween one. Where it just said Happy Halloween and Boo. Um, you try that one. That way it's not like a... Because this is a double spread, double page spread. So it wouldn't be like a double page spread and you wouldn't feel like overwhelmed or anything. Because I get that too. Like I'm slightly overwhelmed, but I'm just going to take it one nutcracker at a time. Um, cause that's all I can do. But the way this is drawn, I don't feel... Like there are some artists who can take these romantic country books like uh, Chris Chang and... <clears throat> And DK Design, and I know there's others I'm forgetting, forgive me, um, that can really, like, make a realistic scene out of this. I am not at that level, so... Let's see. I feel like it should be darker back here. And and despite this being some very smooth paper, I, I am getting more layers on here than I thought I would be able to, which is nice. So I'm able to go back and fidget and push the highlight off to the side, etc., etc. But for some reason, I'm not I'm not turning out the same way I did last night. It looks different. Uh, I don't know. There's like can't tell. There's like dust on the paper. Like this, the other side is fine, but like this side feels, I don't know, it feels dusty for some reason. I did have it open all night, so it is possible it got some dust on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. I'm just, I'm flipping, I have four colors in my hand. It's the dark red, the permanent carmine, the white, and the black. And I'm just flipping and messing with the values and how far I'm pushing one color over the other, etc. So, until it's how I want it. And then I will move on to the next part, or the next spot. Yeah, so I remember these these nutcrackers. And I love Nutcracker Sweet. Like I love that uh ballet. I love the songs, I love the ballet, I love it all. Um so this is just a really nice when I came across it I was like, yeah, of course I've gotta do this one. So I was watching uh, the Marvel's Runaways while, while coloring, which it has James Marsters in it, so, <laughs> you know, I had to see what it was about. I'm an old Buffy fan. Um, yeah, this is the one I want. I'm an old Buffy fan, so anytime I see any of those old actors from Buffy in anything, I'm like, oh, I've got to watch that. Um, 
and and I was a huge Spike fan, so you know. Take the white, and I'm gonna try to blend that out a bit. There's just something with this little piece right here. Hello, coloring gallery. Welcome to the stream. I am coloring in romantic country. Obs, obviously. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do his coat. Do his coat here. And with this being such smooth paper, I am getting, I am inadvertently, not on purpose, like I'm pressing probably my medium pressure here, and I'm inadvertently getting very light layers. So it, it kind of forces you into that, I think. But I'm not a person, like, I can't just go in and know where, <clears throat> excuse me. I can't just go in and just know exactly where I want the values to be. Like, I want my dark to go to here, and I want my medium to go to here, and I want my light to go to here. Like, I don't know. I have to fiddle with it. I'm a fiddler. And give me just one second. I'm going to try to cough and clear this up. Okay, that feels better. So, again, just taking my four little colors. I'm keeping it simple. I want this to be a very sweet and simple page. I don't think it needs to be overly one thing or the other. Let's go back in with the darker. Darken up under the around the beard and some of the nutcrackers had white hair some had dark hair black hair some even had brown hey cats sorry i didn't see you come in jen i think i might have been coughing um by the way jen cats your um your books are great for my pro colors. The paper is amazing for pro colors. And I am so tickled pink by that, I can't even tell you. Because it is. Hold on. I tried it last night. Shook. Sorry. So I was working on it last night, and those are pro colors, and I'm so pleased how that came out. Hi, other Jen. Jen Cats and Jen Cracked Minis. Got the Jens in the house today. I'm just going to take my black and get a little shadow in here. We're in uh, Romantic Country, The Second Tale, the Christmas page. Oh, I answered before you asked. <laughs> Working on that shadow, just making sure it's as deep as I like it. I'm trying to keep it even. If you notice, I'm flipping back and forth between the two sides. Because um, obviously, <laughs> doing them separate, uh, I have a hard time with symmetry. So that's something I need to work on. And then my white to preserve the highlight there. And do a little blending. I 
So one of these guys will probably, I don't necessarily want to do white hair on these nutcrackers because this one's going to be red. And then the one over here is going to be blue because this looks exactly like the one my mom had and it was it was a beautiful royal blue um and she had a nice deep red one which i couldn't really i mean i guess i could have gone middle cadmium red but like i couldn't really find i guess i could have done burnt carmine maybe no i think it's okay i think i chose good colors but it's just not as deep a red as I want. That's okay. I'll work with it. It'll be fine. Yeah, my mom had tons of nutcrackers. And some were some were big. Like some she only brought out for Christmas because they were just too big to stick in the in the curio cabinet. And as a kid, like they came up to like my stomach. Um, and that, I, you know, that's what, maybe two feet tall. Um, as an adult, they'd probably only come up to my knee now. I don't know what happened to them all. I should ask her. Because if she still has some, I, like, I might want one. Nostalgia, right? Okay. And this is going to be a majority red and black. Dude. This is going to be red and black. The other one's going to be blue. Probably blue and white. Let's see how, see how that works out. I'll probably need grays to make the white. That's all right. So... No real light source to be had here, but again, I'm flipped to the left, mostly, usually. This is my this is my fun page. I'm not really hard pressed. To make sure all my I's are dotted and my T's are crossed. And my light source is defined and my shadows are in the exact space spot they need to be, etc, etc. I'm just having fun. Because it's Christmas time. I would be playing Christmas music right now, especially like Trans-Siberian Orchestra or something. Or uh, Mannheim Steamroller or Pentatonics. I'd be playing one of those. But when I go to put this up on YouTube, it would flag as copyrighted content and maybe one stream before Christmas. I won't put it on YouTube and I'll just blast me some music. So why not, right? I love listening to music. This actually... Not having any music. Though I've got pretty birds singing. So, you know. The birds are singing outside. It's a beautiful day. It was 70. It was over 70 degrees yesterday. My um, daughter was outside in a short sleeve shirt. And we went for a walk. And I didn't need a jacket or anything. Um, and it's going to be 60 something today. But it's going to get cold this weekend. And by cold, I mean like 50. <laughs> I was like, we can't go on a walk in that weather. Because we were going to go on another hike with the kids. He was like, we can't do it in that weather. So I'm actually going to use... I don't know if I'm going to use... I got this from Target's, that handmade modern. So I have some gold acrylic paint. 20 karat gold. Apparently, I don't know what that means exactly. Um, or 
I have my gold and silver gel pens, which will be good. I've also got my uh, Spectrum Noir Sparkle Clear. Love using this. It's a, it's like an alcohol marker. I don't know if you can hear the stuff shaking in there. But it's like an alcohol marker. And you just brush it on. Like a, like a brush. But it's almost like a watercolor, but it's alcohol based. So just be warned, it will, it will blend whatever you put it on. And it will pick up pigment. See, I've got... What is this dust coming from? It's just this paper here is much rougher than the paper on the other side, and I'm not entirely sure why. It feels different. See, I was using permanent carmine. So last night, I used uh, an app called PNP, Portable North Pole. And last night, my daughters got their videos from Santa, which was so exciting for them. Uh, my oldest was on the nice list, though she has to try harder not to tell lies. I don't know why a seven-year-old feels she needs to lie about things. But she gets caught in the stupidest lies. I mean, just like, did you, did you pick up after yourself? Yes, I did. I go, look, no, you didn't. Why did you, like, why, oh, I forgot. How do you forget that you didn't do, I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, that's not all, and she's been caught in some bigger lies, but. But she's been good lately. Like, I haven't, I haven't had to get her on her about anything. Um, but the youngest, she was on the might be, might be naughty, might be good list. She has, she has some room for improvement. She does not listen. Case in point, last night I go to get him shuffled upstairs for bed, and I was cleaning some stuff up in the living room. Come to find out, the youngest, she was so quiet. I should have known better, but I was, you know, she was quiet. It was nice because she'd been loud all day. Um, the youngest had found a pair of scissors. Don't know where because I'd put them all up. She found a pair of safety scissors. like, And when I say scissors, I mean these little kitty scissors. I found a pair of scissors. And those are the exact scissors, by the way. Found a pair of scissors and cut up the fringe on my blanket. I, I could have lost it. I was so close to losing it. And if my husband hadn't been there, like, covering his mouth, trying not to laugh, I probably would have lost it. Um, oh, that girl just drives me bonkers. I don't even know, like, who does that? My child, that too. My child does that. Oh, my goodness. So she's in trouble. My husband grounded her. He's like, you're, you're grounded. <laughs> you don't get a tablet, you don't get TV. And he's like, you might not even go out, get to go out and play with friends this weekend. <sighs> yes, oh no. Uh, Mafiki, oh no, indeed. I, <laughs> like I'm laughing about it now, but it's like a shake your head laugh because that's all you can do. Because otherwise you might scream. <sighs> and it was a blanket I had found at Ikea that matched my furniture like perfectly 
you know how it's hard to to match stuff when you get it from different places, but for some reason this just matched perfectly. So I'm just like, oh, this kid is killing me. She's going to be the death of me. She really is. My husband and I joke all the time that the oldest, she'll go off to college and, you know, do all that stuff. But the youngest, she'll think that's not for her. And uh, we'll get a call one day going, hey, dad, hey, mom, uh, I'm in West Germany or West Germany. See, I'm a child of the 80s and that is still stuck with me. Um. I'm in Germany. I need a ride home. I'm like, but you know, <laughs> you were just you were just going to the store. <laughs> How'd you end up halfway across the world? That's that's what she would be. And we always joke we're gonna get those phone calls from her. She needs bailed out of something. I mean, I'll love her all the same, but uh, I'm just mentally preparing myself for this because she's just going to be wild. I don't think that's turning out too bad. It just seems like it's taking a long time to get the values and the the reds right where I want them, which is okay. Which is why I give myself wiggle room. Because if I went straight in and pressed hard and burnished the already smooth paper, I wouldn't be able to do things like come in and do a shadow down there, you know? So I give myself wiggle room. And even then, I still don't, like, I've kind of stopped burnishing. I don't necessarily, it hurts my hands to press that hard. I'm I'm not really capable of doing a heavy pressure anymore. Um, So I do, I do light and medium, and do lots of layers, and that gives me a look I like, while also not killing my hands. Win-win, right? That's looking good. I like it. Let's see. Got Hi, Ziska. Welcome to the live stream. Playing in Romantic Country 2, the second tale. On the Christmas page. Merry Christmas. Happy Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Uh, happy Yule. Whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate at all, happy December 25th. I've got a... I don't know that I'll be able to stream after lunch today. I've got a handyman coming to give an estimate on the black back floodlight isn't working. And then here in my office, there is water stains on the ceiling and directly adjacent on one of the walls. And so I need to get some estimates and give them to my landlord and we'll decide what to do from there. But I've got three people coming in the next week, week and a half. So 
so. And I try to make appointments on Tuesdays and Thursdays because that's when I'm kid free. And the most flexible. Because yesterday we had the quarterly exterminator come and just make sure everything's okay. Uh, apparently this house had termites, so the the owner has an exterminator come out and just make sure they haven't come back or anything. And they haven't, so... But the exterminator was out yesterday, and she followed him around like a lost puppy dog. And I'm just like, you know, you gotta leave him alone. He's working with chemicals... You know, because he was spraying the outside of the house. Just like, and she was showing him his, her walking stick. And it's like, oh my goodness. Hi, Henny Vu. Welcome to the live stream. Coloring in Romantic Country, the second tale on the Christmas page. I think I'm done with his vest now. Moving on. Let's see. And I, I'm properly festive today. I put on, I put on my Christmas sweater. Uh, one to make sure it still fit because I have gained, I have, I have gained weight. Despite my best efforts, actually there were no best efforts. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't calorie counted. I haven't, you know, exercised. No best efforts. Um, but anyway, so I was just making sure it still fit. And I put it on. And my my youngest is like just pointing out, you have a tree? That's our tree. How did you get a sweater with our tree on it? It's like, uh, <laughs> I didn't. Like, I've had it for a few years. My other daughter's like, I've never seen you wear that before. I said, I wore it last Christmas. I wore it the Christmas before. Not entirely sure. She has a horrible memory, though. Yeah, she was just, oh, that's our tree. We haven't put up our tree yet. We're going to do it this weekend since it's going to be so cold. We'll turn on the fireplace. I've got a gas fireplace. We'll turn on the fireplace and turn on Christmas music and we'll put up our tree. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do both sides. Symmetry. I like that weird corporate symmetry. That's like a running joke, isn't it? The symmetry. And thinking outside of the box. I'm going to hate having to go back to work. I go legit. I'm going to hate it. I like being at home. I like cooking. I like. I don't necessarily like cleaning, but, you know, my house is a lot cleaner than it was when I was working. Who wants to come home from work and then clean, right? I know I never did. We're, we're cleaning up the, the playroom upstairs right now. And I told the girls, so we have a lot of toys. I mean, just an obnoxious amount of toys. Um... But I told the girls they had to fill up two medium-sized moving boxes um, of toys out of the playroom or their rooms, or both, um, to give away, to donate, um, before we could put up a Christmas tree. So, they've almost got one full... They keep arguing over whose toy it is. <laughs> when one of them's like, oh, I don't want this. And the other one's like, no, that's my toy. 
you can't give away my toy. You have to ask me. Just like, oh my God. If it's in the playroom, it's a communal toy. Oh, I shook it again. I hit my desk. I'm sorry. My husband, God love him, he's been looking at making me a desk. This could be one of those like rustic rustic wood desks with the pipe metal fittings between it. And he's he's got plans already and he's going to do it in the basement and build it for me in the spring for my birthday in March. He's going to build me a desk with shelving and a place to put a light and so I can stream and color on this big desk. Because right now I'm on my computer desk and I literally have as much room as this book on here. So uh, it's a bit, it's a bit tight. See, I have all the Oh, well, I'm not going to let it bug me. It's just going to be what it is. I was going to say I have all my shadows on the left, but I don't have a shadow on the left side on this or here. I was like, oh, I've got to, I'm just going to leave it. You know what? I'm just going to leave it because it's okay. It is a-okay. doesn't have to be perfect. I fight with myself on whether or not to do something and then I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. It's, it's too nerve-wracking. It's just like, I've got to stop doing that. Thank you. Yeah, I, a lot of, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, don't use black, but... I don't know, in certain, in certain occasions, it works out very, very well, so. On that other book, on the Cats Winter Special, I'm actually using red. I don't know if you can see that. I'm actually using red for my shadows. So that kind of works out a lot. Pretty good. But that's because those are pro color. And pro color looks really good when it's layered like that. Yeah, I struggled when I first started coloring this. I was like, I was struggling with what to use to shade. I found it. I was just like, eh. I've got a black pencil sitting here. I do. I've always got my black pencil sitting over that way. That way. It's always in my cup next to me. I really like the, I really like the polychromos black. For as much as I use it, it's really still pretty long. But... little deeper under that belt. There we go. I'm using, the two reds I'm using is the Faber-Castell Polychromos Dark Red. I don't know if you can see that. Dark red and permanent carmine. I'm not entirely sure why I picked those as they don't look. I mean, when you have them side by side, they look really, they don't even look to be in the same red family. But for some reason, when you blend them together, it looks really, it looks pretty good, so. You 
like the the permanent permanent carmine looks to be a bit more of a true red, whereas the dark red is more on the purpley side. I wanted a true red for these nutcrackers. And I'm doing shiny bits like this because these are these are supposed to be statues. They're not like these are real nutcrackers. Um, these are statues, so then you they're gonna be painted. So they're gonna have shiny bits on them, right? That's my, that's my thought process. So they're going to be like painted or whatever. So they're going to have shiny bits. For as much as I'm, I seem to be coloring here, I'm not using, like my tips are still pretty, pretty pointy. Which is nice. So like the buttons, I'll probably just use a gel pen. I won't try to to make gold out of pencils, which I'm not very good at, but I need practice, but I don't think this page is the one I'm gonna practice that on. There, that side looks good. I did not do it in some symmetry. For shame, for shame, for shame. Oh well, it'll be okay. I do want to try to push this along and maybe get most of this nutcracker done in the streams. I may only be able to do two live streams today, this one and then when this one ends, just before lunch. Oh, I didn't take any Excedrin. I should have. That's okay. It's not that bad. I hate when headaches are just annoying. Like, you should take some medicine, but it's not bad enough that you can't function without taking medicine, but then it's just kind of there. It won't go away. So I don't think I'm going to order any art supplies to be delivered to my house via USPS for a little while, um, I may have ticked off the, the mailman yesterday. I don't really care because he was a a-hole, um, and a lot of people in the neighborhood. We have a we have a neighborhood Facebook page, and so. One of the ladies was like, has anybody gotten their mail? I haven't gotten mail in three days, and I've had my flag up for outgoing mail. And they've just, they just keep passing by. I was like, no, he comes, he comes through our neighborhood. And then this is prior to holiday season. He comes through our neighborhood no less than three times a day. And I don't understand it. Um... But yesterday, he goes whizzing past my house, and I had a package to go out that had been to go out since yesterday or since the day before. And so I stood out there waiting for him to come down the other side of the road. And when he, he came swinging by, I waved at him, pointed to my mailbox, and he yells out, 
as he's still driving and whizzing by, he yells out he's just delivering packages. And I'm just like, yeah, but I saw you, I, I saw him put mail in one of the neighbors. But anyway, so one of the ladies complained and she left a phone number to call. So we're all going to call because this isn't like, this has been ongoing for the last year where our mail's been misdelivered. We constantly get mail for other people, for neighbors. I've had people come up and be like, I think this is your mail. Yeah. So whatever they're doing, they're not doing their job. And that that's really it's really upsetting. And the last couple times I ordered, I think the last pencil set I ordered the the pro colors, the Durant pro colors. Um, he threw them on my porch. I'd ordered them from Dick Blick, I think. And he threw it on my porch. I was so pissed. And I was just like, man, if anything is broken in here, I'm going to take it out of his side. Because they were, you know, they're still pretty expensive. Because they're brand new pencils. Like, they just came out, right? Thankfully, nothing was wrong with them. They were packaged really, really well. Kudos to Dick Blick. Um, but I was just so pissed. And, and, you know, he does that all the time. Just a little more black under here, and I think this side's done. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. He's going to have red pants. He's going to have red boots. And then I think that'll be the end of the reds on his body. And then I'll switch to blacks. Well, do I want to do... I'll figure that out later, whether or not... I'll just set the reds to the side, and I'll figure whether I want to do this. And I might be able to do that in silver and do gold buttons, Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, baby. I don't know why I'm holding it so far back. I can't. It takes a lot to put pressure on this page. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mel Fecky. Fecky, Fecky. Yeah, that's always, it's so sad when the mailmen are are terrible with our art supplies, isn't it? Oh, I watched, I watched, because I can see it at my window here. I watched them bend um, one of the books, and it was the Linda Ravencroft book. And I ran out there. <laughs> They just bent it in half. Oh, no, Malfecki. That's awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. Is there, is there a recourse? Like, is there somebody you can call to say, hey? Because I know, I don't, I don't know, like, if you're even in the U.S., but I know in the U.S., I'm, per, I'm pretty sure, like, Pretty sure the male people are union, which makes it more difficult, but surely we have, I mean, we have people we can call and complain to. I might take a, a black pen and just darken this line here. When I'm all done. Austria. 
Austria. Wow. Beautiful country. My aunt visited there recently. So do you, uh, is there like a postal, I don't know, is there a, a place you can complain? Is it per department or per, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like I can go to my distribution center and complain because they all come from the distribution center. And then I can go all the way up to the Postmaster General, basically, if I wanted to, in the government. So, I should do that. I should write to the Postmaster General. Could you imagine? <laughs> Yeah, my mailman's not nice to my art supplies. Make it stop. He bent my coloring book. I know that sounds silly, but like, you know, that's a legit complaint. I like it. I don't necessarily like the little tick marks. Excuse me. I don't like the tick marks on this or the deer, but eh, I'll work around it. Just ignore it. Pretend it doesn't exist. I'm always intrigued by these books. I have all three of them. And like I said, I've only colored one page. Out of all three, because the paper's weird. But these are such cute pictures. I mean, they are. They're adorable pictures. I don't always know how to color them. And then, like Malfecki said earlier, you know, you get afraid you're going to mess it up. And so for a while, I was afraid I would mess it up. I was watching, what inspired me to actually grab this book, or at least grab one of the romantic countries, was I was watching Coloring Francis on on uh, YouTube. Very, very sweet, sweet British lady. Um, and she's fun to listen to. I love, I love British accents. I love accents, so... Um, so I was, I was watching her color in a scene in Romantic Country. I forget which, I forget which one it was. <coughs> Excuse me, that little t tickles back. Um, but it was so pretty, and she was using, I don't know why this, like, makes me clutch my pearls, but she was using Albrecht Durer. She was using Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils as just pencils. And for some reason, I'm just like, why won't you put water? Oh, no, I've got 26 seconds remaining. Look, I caught it this time. So this will pop off here in a minute. And then I will restart the live stream and continue for another hour. So it's 10 a.m. now, Eastern, and I'll be back in just a few seconds and pop on again. So thanks for coming. Hope you can pop on to the next one. Bye.